Yeah, that's my cup. All right, all right. All right, let me get to the crib, yeah. and then I'll be back to get the RX-8. Right. Yeah. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are out here doing throwback things. Um, so I decided that I wanted to buy a motorcycle because I'm tired of commuting in traffic, right? But not only did I buy a motorcycle, I bought the motorcycle that originally made me buy sport bikes. And I love this. This is impressive. It's amazing. This is a very clean, well, it's dusty because it's been in a warehouse, a very clean version of an FZR 600. And I couldn't resist it. The price was right. And it was right on the money with what I needed. I needed a 600, something that was pretty close to being modern, but something that was comfortable. And uh, this is exactly what I wanted. this line is and you never put your feet in it. That's why you stay outside of it or inside of it. And you see how these two are. Knee riders, they fall a lot of toll bridges because they roll in and just slip on that. Thank you. I'm enjoying this. This is great. And it could be one of two things. Either the nostalgia of being back on a bike is just overwhelming and it's super fun because the freedom of being on a motorcycle is amazing. You're jamming at like 80, 90 miles an hour doing whatever you want to do as long as you're responsible and trying to be safe, right? So this is great. I, I'm just so happy about this. I'm hype. I'm so hype. Look what we got there. So let me introduce you to the newest commute vehicle. To be honest, that's really what I got it for. And I'm going to keep it real funky. I'm not going to use it just for commuting. What kind of wild, lame brain dude do you think I am? FZR 600. This is a 1991 vintage stuff right here, right? And it's mainly unmolested and super clean except for a very small crack right there on the lower fairings you got that there and that part there and looks like some makeshift exhaust that they had 
that's the factory header but it looks like it was cut and they slid that on but this is all original fairings 13,000 original miles on this bike it is clean aside from it being actually dusty and dirty because it's been sitting in the warehouse for a little while we opened the video with me riding it so you know that it rides really good and it is very mechanically sound i am actually so much more impressed with this than i thought i would be the thing is right if you guys have been following the ig this is the bike that started it off for me i was always interested in nothing but dirt bikes like my whole life was just dirt bikes right and i always got magazines specifically tailoring to the dirt bike lifestyle and fashion so i always only saw dirt bikes as my form of entertainment for motorcycles one day we went to the store i had already had the latest dirt bike magazine so i got a cycle world what did i see in the cycle world this this bike right here i figured that eh, that's pretty cool right but then I used to also go to the dealerships and look at the bikes in person. Wasn't going to get one. I was probably like 9 or 10 years old at the time. But I actually saw this FZR in person and I started to love sport bikes. People that know me and my motorcycle history, my history is always 600s. Thousands are hella fast. We know this. I don't care about being fast because I like to work for it. Hence why I own RX-7s. I could of course put a V8 in it. I could of course put a turbo rotary in that but i like them how they are i like the way they sound i like the way they feel i like the way they run it's the same thing with 600 cc's i just like them a lot my biggest fear with being older now and knowing how modern sport bikes feel because i've always ridden modern sport bikes my fear was that meeting your hero was going to let you down so i never once rode a carbureted sport bike I didn't have any interest in it. Fuel injected technology is the way. This is my first time riding any carburetor sport bike. And let me tell you, I was a little bit not disappointed. Surprisingly, this thing feels just like a modern R6. The only thing that I feel that was a little bit different was obviously throttle response. Uh, my R6, I can sit all day and pull the Boso Rev. And it would just react every time you hit that throttle. This is a little bit slower, but I've heard or been told I could fix that with getting carbs adjusted and other little things like that. So I'm not too much worried about it. This is just my first experience with the bike. And this is small things that I noticed. The bike comes on really small tires, front and back. Okay. This is clad with a 110 and a 120. Boy, that's narrow, but surprisingly, this bike is extremely thin, narrow, and nimble. And on those 120s, it didn't feel terrible. Now, of course, these chicken strips are from the previous rider. I literally only rode it home and put it up because what I wanna do is I wanna do a full inspection. I wanna check the shocks. I wanna check the chain. The teeth on the sprocket don't look too bad, but I'm gonna change that out for a 520 and a different tooth rear sprocket so i just want to do a full inspection on the bike check every point that i can check that i know of and then go from there i feel that i could change the front forks what i've been learning is if you got the whole setup you could just stuff a set in that obviously fits in the bulkhead but if not you could change to the steering stem from this one and or the others that accommodate and fit whatever you want on there also um same thing with the rear shock i've been told that the r6 modern shock fits you just have to change the dog bones which isn't a huge deal this is damn near a barn find we'll call it a warehouse find because this bike has been in the warehouse for ages and look at that paint it is still pearly as hell and super clean just a little bit dusty and we're going to clean all of that off here shortly got a seat cowl coming clip-ons coming i've got levers there uh, bar ends. I'm going to hit up Pro Style Wraps and get the original vinyl, the original livery done and apply that to this. And just overall spiff this thing up. For right now, I'm just going to clean up all the stuff that I find that's not up to par. Uh, we have flapping mirrors going on, but those bolts are just loose. We tightened them up and they're solid. Uh, this bike is very narrow. So the bikes that I have had 
um, a few R6s, Ducati 848. This dang thing, if you could see how narrow it is, it fully reminded me of the 848, just with its nimbleness and how it moves and how narrow it is. I wasn't very disappointed at all with riding this bike and taking it through a couple of corners and things like that. So I'm super hyped. I don't wanna make this vlog too long of the bike just sitting here because it is a vintage bike, a 91. It's not too much to look at right now, but I am definitely gonna give her a good, nice, thorough cleaning, clean the wheels, check the brake pad tolerances and oils and everything. And I'm gonna be rocking this thing on. Uh, biggest debate is I don't want it to look too modern. So when I changed the forks, I was thinking about changing something that had the extended radial brakes on it. You know, I may just change to a newer R1 front end. Uh, just get the bigger diameter brake rotors, bigger piston brakes that are, they're moved down a little bit further. So I don't want it to look too modern. I want to maintain some of the time specific stuff. Uh, but adding the R6 shock in the rear is going to raise the bike just a little bit, which I'm okay with. Um, I feel like appearance wise, it's cool, but I'm really not used to a bike having a flat plane. So having it raised probably about an inch or so in the rear, I wouldn't be too mad at. I like it. I like it a lot, man. This was such a good find, such a good buy, and it's gonna help me get home in shorter than two hours worth of time so I can get home and enjoy this good weather and enjoy the scenery when I get off instead of sitting looking at brake lights for two hours. Another thing I was thinking about, um, later models came with this with a running light. I'm not sure if I fully want to change that. I kind of look, I mean, I've looked at them with those uh, running lights before. I might leave it as is. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I'll put a picture up of one with the running light right there. And then you just leave it in the comment if I should leave it how it is or if I should add the running light. I'm definitely changing the headlights to LEDs. Two things you need to know with motorcycles, especially in the climate of how people drive right now, you need to be seen and you need to be heard. That OG dim headlight, that's not gonna quite do the scene part. And that silent exhaust definitely ain't taking care of the herd department. So LED headlights going in and we're definitely gonna rock some sort of exhaust. I'm not gonna really be riding with anybody on here. So I may change to uh, just a regular exhaust hanger from like a GP style. It's just a piece of metal that comes down and get a high exit exhaust. I might leave that peg on that side. For those of you that know, know why you would leave the peg on that side of the bike ha! obviously um when i change the front end i'm gonna go to a brembo master with a remote reservoir instead of having the all-in-one brake reservoir on the master cylinder so few changes just to make it a little bit more modern but visually the visual appearance is gonna be like this with the full graphics i'm gonna put the picture right here so with that being what it is i haven't named her yet i don't know what i even want to name her but welcome to the family i am so happy to have you here and i'm gonna do you dirty i promise oh, they in the stands but it's hunting me to dance they hate the little way i rush it god free really god like manifested everything i forgot of nothing i've been gucci with the game before the lives give a oh man after getting it inside and getting under the lights and doing a little bit of rubbing boy we have cleaned this thing up it's pretty cool to see so this is the actual original paint right um just the factory white and it's just like the lexus pearl uh the same color i had on my black fc well actually the same color that the fc actually is under the vinyl this is the same exact color it's a lot of silver flake and silver pearl in it you can definitely see it right there uh looks amazing but the cool thing, um, I always thought that this was paint. This is the only paint. These two were vinyl, which makes this awesome when I go to Pro Style because all they've got to do is just remake all of this stuff and I will get the super glossy luxuriousness that this bike deserves. So I think I'm going to leave the tank how it is because that red is actually a really good color red. This has a little bit of fade on it, just a little bit. So I'm gonna get the front cowl redone, uh, get the mid graphics done and the tail done. The seat cowl, I believe, the seat cowl I'm getting should be in mint or like new condition. So that'll be awesome. 
and then I'm going to get a period specific exhaust. So either Vance and Hines or Two Brothers, whatever. Um, if you guys got some options, drop them in the comment section. Let me know what other exhaust would be pretty dope for this year, um, 89 to 91. That's gonna be the year range that I wanna keep all the parts, except for like the retrofit of the shocks and wheels and stuff. So anyway, man, this is so solid. Took a little bit of time to wipe it down. Boy, she came clean. All the stuff that was on it from just sitting around in the warehouse. I mean, this is so clear. It's like brand new. Mirrors, mirrors look amazing. Everything is great. Cleaned up the gauges quite a bit. Oh man, what a little bit of elbow grease can do. Look at that stuff right there. I mean, everything is so clean, so clean. And aside from that blemish on the seat, but that'll be replaced from the seat cow and this bike will be 100% legit. So super dope warehouse find. I'm very, very happy with this. Um, I'll clean the wheels tomorrow because I want to do that outside. And right now there's kids running around everywhere and my wife's vehicle is there. So I will wait until tomorrow. So until tomorrow, I will pick back up where I'm, I guess I'm leaving off. Man, it's taking everything in me not to get a cutting wheel and just hack that and hack that and rivet it together and make it short. And uh, man, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try not to. I'm definitely gonna try not to. But uh, I believe that we are done with this. I am shutting it down. Woo boy, I tell you, if this was 1990, I would be the man right now. Vert FC and the hot boy, come on, son. Man, look at that. Even clean up the frame a little bit. Man, she looked good. Probably gonna have to powder coat some stuff here pretty soon, but we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure what I want to powder coat, but uh, that's it. Gone. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new ice, ice, You got to have dedication, hard work, plus patience to some more of my sacrifice. I'm done waiting, I'm done waiting. Told you that I wasn't playing. Now you hear what I've been saying? Dedication.